Today's scoop is as colossal as it gets. We're talking about the mammoth project the Democratic Republic of the Congo has cooked up. Brace yourselves for a jaw-dropping initiative aiming to build a mega dam that's about to shake things up in Africa. Picture this. A dam so massive it could power up nearly half a continent. That's right folks, we're talking about the kind of power that could make even the Avengers green with envy. Now if you're wondering just how big we're talking, imagine a dam so huge it could probably be seen from space. Okay, maybe not quite, but you get the gist. We're talking about breaking all the records, leaving other dams feeling like tiny ponds in comparison. So, what's the deal with this $80 billion marvel? Well buckle up because we're diving deep into the juicy details. From its jaw-dropping size to the tech wizardry behind it, we're about to unravel all the fascinating tidbits about Africa's newest energy powerhouse. But before we get into all the nitty-gritty details, do us a quick favor. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on the jaw-dropping discoveries we have in store, and your like will really help the YouTube algorithm to let other people know about this video too. Thanks. Alright, let's jump right back into it by zooming in on the Democratic Republic of Congo DRC, the land of elephants, chimpanzees, and one heck of a confusing neighborly situation. With a whopping population of 95 million people, it's the second largest country in Africa. And get this, it's occasionally mistaken for its neighbor, the Republic of the Congo. Talk about awkward mix-ups. Both get their names from the mighty Congo River which splits them like an oversized watermelon. But did you know it's actually the deepest river on the planet? We're talking depths that could make even the bravest diver think twice. A whopping 200 meters below the surface at its deepest point. And let's not forget about its impressive discharge, that's the amount of water rushing through it every second. The Congo River may not have the spotlight like the Amazon, but it sure knows how to make a splash, outstripping the Nile and even China's mighty Yangtze River in water power. Then there's Inga Falls, a jaw-dropping stretch of rapids downstream from the capital cities. It's technically the world's largest waterfall, creating a zone of powerful, swiftly moving water. While its classification as a waterfall might be up for debate, one thing's for sure. It packs a punch and holds massive hydroelectric potential. So that's where the opportunity is, in the electrifying world of Inga Falls. This natural wonder isn't just a sight to behold, it's a powerhouse of energy potential with experts estimating that it could churn out a whopping 40 gigawatts of power. That's enough juice to light up not just the DRC but several other African nations as well. Let's rewind a bit to get some context. The buzz around Inga's energy potential has been brewing for over a century, ever since a survey hinted at the Congo River holding a quarter of the world's water power. Then fast forward to the 1950s. Belgium had grand plans to dam up Inga, but those dreams went down the drain when the DRC gained independence. The DRC didn't let those plans fizzle out though, they kicked things into high gear, constructing Inga 1 and Inga 2 6 and 8 turbine dams respectively, which together boasted a massive capacity of nearly 2 gigawatts. These dams were lifelines for key industries like copper mining, but they barely scratched the surface of Inga's true potential. Flash forward to today, and Inga 1 and 2 are showing signs of wear and tear. Their operational capacity has dwindled faster than your melting ice cream cone while you're waiting in line at Disney World in August. Today, the power generation hovers around a measly 30% of its original power generation potential. Ouch! So now there's talk of Inga 3, a potential game-changer capable of churning out an extra 4.5 gigawatts of power. But let's talk grand plans. The Grand Inga Dam to be exact. This isn't your run-of-the-mill project. It's like someone said, hey, let's harness every single drop of that immense power. So, here's the scoop. Picture a colossal barrier stretching across the southern end of the Bundy Valley, right alongside Inga Falls, like putting a cork in a giant bathtub. Except instead of water, we're talking about power stations, six of them, to be precise. Each of these stations is like a little powerhouse, housing hydroelectric turbines ready to churn out between four and eight gigawatts of power. But wait, there's more. Another barrier is going up at the summit of Inga Falls, redirecting the flow of rapids into the Bundy Valley. And when that water rushes down to the southern wall of the valley, gravity does its thing, propelling it through those turbines like nobody's business. The end result? A whopping 40 gigawatts of power, enough to make even the most seasoned electrician do a double take. Redirecting rivers for power generation isn't exactly new, we've seen it done before. But here's where the Grand Inga stands out, it's meant to be the superhero of dams, surpassing even the mighty Three Gorges Dam with more than twice the amount of power. 
It's the Tony Stark of electricity. Tackling a project of this magnitude isn't just about flipping a switch, nope it's gonna take some serious cash, commitment, and maybe a few magic tricks to pull it off. But hey, the transformative impact of the Grand Inga Dam on the African continent could be huge, especially for the nearly 50% of folks currently living in the dark. Time to crunch some numbers and face some hard truths. The Grand Inga Dam isn't going to build itself, and it sure isn't going to be cheap with its jaw-dropping $80 billion price tag, which, by the way, is more than the DRC's annual GDP, you heard that right, we're talking about a project that's bigger than this country can afford. So, let's address the elephant in the room. Can the DRC foot this astronomical bill on its own? Well the answer's looking a bit grim, considering they're already struggling to keep the lights on at the existing Inga dams, let alone embark on a project of this magnitude. But where there's a will, there's a way. And in this case, it might just come in the form of foreign investment. Countries like South Africa and Nigeria are already lining up to chip in for a piece of that sweet power pie. And it's not just other African countries who are interested. International financial heavyweights like World Bank and the European Investment Bank are also throwing their hats into the ring. Even the African Union is on board, aiming to foster cooperation among African nations to make this dream a reality. So, here's where things get a bit dicey. Even if we manage to scrape together the $80 billion needed, there's still no guarantee it'll be enough. Historically, dams have a nasty habit of blowing their budgets faster than a kid in a candy store with costs sometimes doubling and in this case it could go up to $160 billion. But there are some even bigger issues lurking in the shadows, like the relocation of over 30,000 local villagers and the environmental havoc that this dam could wreak by disrupting ecosystems and threatening vulnerable species like bonobos. It's a real ethical minefield, and the question remains, is it worth it? What do you think? Leave your comment below on whether this is a good idea or bad idea, and is it even possible? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Ever wondered about the vibrant wildlife hidden in the depths of the Democratic Republic of Congo? This is a land where diverse habitats intermingle, each brimming with its unique spectrum of life. It's a place that stirs curiosity, teases your senses and conjures a sense of wonder. So, if you decide to visit DRC, what beautiful animals will you see? Imagine yourself immersed in the lush greenery of the Congo rainforests. This verdant realm teems with life, hosting majestic mountain gorillas with their soulful eyes and elusive okapis, sporting their unique zebra-like stripes. Each creature in its own way contributes to the intricate dance of the ecosystem. These rainforest dwellers play a crucial role in maintaining the health and balance of their ecosystem. Now step into the sunlit expanse of the Congo savanna. Imagine a canvas of golden grasses, home to magnificent African elephants and robust African buffaloes. These gentle giants with their intriguing behaviors are not just inhabitants, but ecosystem engineers. In the vast savanna every creature is a vital piece of the puzzle. Finally let's embark on a serene journey down the Congo River. This waterway is teeming with life, from the colossal hippopotamus to the soaring African fish eagle. Each creature plays a vital role in maintaining the health of this thriving ecosystem. From the smallest fish to the mightiest eagle, each life form contributes to the river's vibrant ecosystem. From the dense rainforest to the sprawling savanna and along the mighty Congo River, we've journeyed through varied habitats, marveled at the myriad creatures that call Congo home, each playing a vital role in this intricate ecosystem. From the agile bonobos to the majestic elephants, Every life form is a vibrant thread in the tapestry of Congo's wilderness. In the heart of Africa, the Democratic Republic of Congo pulses with life, each creature a testament to the remarkable power and beauty of nature.